Okay, so welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 4-8. In this video, our production system consists of four serial automatic bus station. In the first part, arrive at time zero, and then exactly every 9.8 minutes thereafter. All transfer times are assumed to be zero, and all processing times are constant. There are two types of failure, major and jam, and the data for this system are given in table below. And we need to use the exponential distribution for up times and uniform distribution for the repair times. And uh, you need to run your simulation model for 10,000 minutes to determine the percent of time each resource spent in the failure state and the ending state of each workstation queue. Okay, so this table shows the workstation number, their relative processing times, and their major and the jam failures data set. Okay, so let's move to the arena home screen. Okay, so this one is our model. First, move to the basic process panel and insert the create module and rename it as the create arrivals. And the entity type is parts. Time between arrival is constant as precise in the problem, and its value is 9.8 minutes. And the entries per arrival is equal to 1. Mass arrival is infinite, and the first creation is 0. And click OK. Then add our process module into the work, uh, working area and rename it as the workstation one. Action is cease delay release and the resource name is workstation one machine and unit to cease release is one. And the delay type is constant. Units are in minutes and its value is 8.5. Repeat the same step for the rest of the workstation two. Its uh, delay type is 8.3 minutes. For bus station 3 and its delay type is 8.6 minute and bus station 4 and its delay type is 8.6 minute and then exit the system now we need to add some other information like move to the entity spreadsheet and and insert the initial picture type as picture dot red bone under the queue spreadsheet you can see the type of each bus station queue is first in first out and under the resource state, the type of each workstation is fixed capacity and the capacity value is one. Then move to the advanced process and click this failure spreadsheet and add the failure data set for major failure station one type of the time unit is time. Uptime value is 475 ESPO. Uptime units are in minutes. Downtime distribution is uniform. 20 comma 30 and downtime units are in minute. So repeat the same time for the rest of the station, like for jam station one, major failure station two, jam station two, and so on. All the data set of the failure is available in the precise problem as already distressed. All right, so let's move to the statistics spreadsheet and add the name word station one step. Similarly, for bus station 2, 3, and 4, the type is frequency, and the frequency type is state, and the resource name is the bus station 1 machine, is same as the case for 2, 3, and 4. Collection period is the entire application, so you need to just check these following settings. And then uh, report label is bus station 1 stat, one bus station 2 stat, and similarly for 3 and 4. Okay. Now we need to add the variables. So from the above bar toolbar, from the resource toolbar, add the variable like this. And the expression for variable is nq bus station one dot q. You can also make some other cosmetic changes if you want. And repeat the same step for bus station two, three, and four. Then uh, simply move your Q uh, length from here to there to just make some animation and move to the resource spreadsheet for adding these machines. So you can browse the arena library for adding the machine. Okay, so under the fail state, type a uh, failed word by simply clicking this text field button and add a failed text. So click OK. And repeat the same step for the rest of the bus station two, three, and four. Move to the run setup. 
and made 10,000 application and the units time units are in minutes and then click on okay so now let's run the model so here you can see the uptime and the fail state of the bus station all right so let's fast forward it to view the results okay so in this question i have asked the ending state of each workstation station queue so you can see the ending state of each workstation station queue is zero for workstation station one three for workstation station two zero for workstation station three and one for workstation station four these states cannot be seen in the report category so for seeing the ending state queue you need to first add these variables that is n q click this yes button one is the percentage of time each resource spent in the failure state and its value can be assessed from the frequency spreadsheet instead of the category overview report so click this frequency spreadsheet and here you can see the fail state of workstation station one 8.27 for bar station 2 11.62 for bar station 3 7.27 and for bar station 4 is 10.16 and that's conclude our exercise for dash 8 thank you hope so you like this video please give a big thumbs up and please share this video take care i will see you in the next video